Hello and welcome to an episode of Jar Monk Plays Link's Awakening. We are doing a pre-recorded episode. This is gonna this is a rare one. Yeah, this is um this is something new that I'm trying out. Um <laughs> hope you enjoy it. Well, uh the rest of the episodes are gonna be pre-recorded because I've been playing into the gungeon on the streams. So it's actually been Yeah. It's been, uh, it's, it's been a pretty good... Okay, so basically, I'm gonna be honest with you. The Link's Awakening streams have been not conducive to, like, n new people joining. And, um... What are the... <laughs> How else do I phrase this? Nobody wants to watch a stream of a game that they want to play themselves. Uh, especially if it's a story game. You know, something focused, uh, on, um, on basically, <clears throat> dang it, how do I, how do I get past this? Let's see, hold on. Okay, there we go. Basically, okay. Hold on, back up. <laughs> what we're trying to do in Link's Awakening right now is, um, get the bow. So basically, I, I have uh, I've played this out in my head. I'm like, you know what? I'm okay with stealing the bow. It's too expensive. You know? I'm not about to play the righteous card here. But I don't know how else to make 600 rupees. Just on the fly? You kidding me? They don't pay that kind of money around uh, around my parts. You know, it's a, it's kind of like a like a a nice retirement home economy over where I where I live. Um. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm grabbing some hearts so that we're not screwed. Okay, so back to back to a little bit of uh, inside baseball for you. Oh, that's not good. So yeah, the the Link's Awakening streams have been uh, not very successful, um, and I, I wouldn't like attribute it to to too many other things, like uh, other than lots of people are streaming Link's Awakening. You know, it, it's one of those things that unless you have like a like an actual following of people that would that really love watching you play some Zelda, then it's not really. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be um, that popular to to go to or to check out. You know, it's it's not an ex it's not much of an exclusive content type situation. That's why you see a lot of competitive streams do a lot better than like you know the streamers that uh, that play story games. You know, you'll hear a lot of times from a fan base, so like, we'll watch anything you play, but it's, it's, that's not, that's not how you, uh, you know, grow a, uh, community, grow a, uh, specific, uh, group of people that want to watch. I mean, I might be talking to the wrong crowd here, and you're like, I watch YouTubers Let's Play, so I don't know what you're talking about. Then keep on watching the, the actual footage of the game. Let me crank up the volume for you. <laughs> a lot of times, like, there's probably a lot of people that are clamoring for n no voices on a gameplay um, series. You know, if you're if you want to watch a series without any uh, any voice, you know, that's that's something I'm actually down for. Like, especially, like, something that I've played before. I don't know. Yeah, let me know if there's a specific game that you guys want to watch that, like, without talking. That's kind of a weird concept, but, like, there's channels for it. But specifically, I'm kind of, um, really been enamored by motion controls recently. <clears throat> If you haven't noticed, with the end of the Gungeon and Overwatch coming next week, um, I've just, uh, 
I think it's coming back. And by coming back, I mean, I hope that the actual gimmick doesn't just, you know, stay a gimmick. You know, that people have actually learned that it's not, um, it's not as bad if you use it correctly. You know? Example, Exhibit A. Splatoon 2, incorrect way. <laughs> I just lose people immediately when I say that. Um, let's see here. Do we want to play this? I don't know if we want to play this. Uh, we're, we're just going to steal that bow and then go straight to that dungeon again. I think that's that's the plan. That is the current plan, my man. How do you steal stuff again? Is it a button press? I'm going to try it. Hey, you stop. Oh, sorry, kid, you don't have the rupees. Okay. <laughs> I thought you could just walk out. Maybe if you keep trying. Yeah, I guess you can't do it. Alright, well... There's so much for that idea. 980 rupees. How are we gonna get 980 rupees? Let's see here. Put the boom. Rub a dum dum dum. Yo, calm down. Okay, so I've got an idea now that I've seen this sign. Let's go to Dompe. See see what he what he has for us in terms of uh, uh how to earn some money. Do, 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 do. Have we already checked this, um, this path here? Yo, we just missed a blue rupee. Now we've already seen this. Oh, wait, uh, but now we have a new power. Yeah. Mm-hmm, purple rupee. I knew it, dude. We're not gonna make this one. This is a hook shot. Th oh my. Wow. That was insanely close, though. I would have been. <laughs> Disregard. I would have been pretty proud of myself. You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning. <laughs> I can't even. Uh, that's such a good phrase, though. Let's see if they drop another blue rupee. They do not. Well. You gotta, you gotta live with the consequences of your own hubris. Okay, let's go through here. Where was Dompe? You're close to Tondo Heights. Dompe Shack is nearby. I think this is it right here. Hey, Dompe Shack. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island, I can tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers in the slab, into the slab back there, and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if I can... See if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I gave you. Oh, lots of instructions here. Though you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon, you've got a, you've got to adventure through it too. Oh, this is Mario Maker. They're essentially trying to put Mario Maker inside Link's Awakening. I see. I see. I see what you're doing, Nintendo. 
I'm not sure if I believe in it, but you know, I see. All right. Yeah, I'm out of here though. Okay, so he's not gonna give us any money. <laughs> it's basically what I'm getting from this. Yo, we, we got a we got another teleport spot though. I'll take that. Can we jump up? Oh come on. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. No. How about you die? Okay. What is this here? Mount Tamaranch or Gaponga Swamp. Looks like we can go to Mount Tamaranch. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. What's this? Bring me any weird stones you find? This is a weird stone. Alright, let's check out this area first. We're gonna block that spear. You're not gonna get me. Nah, man. Alright, he got me. He got me too. That's fine. What do you have for me? Y'all, we got apples. Let's go. Oh, you you gotta describe the the red one and the green one? Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I can I can tell. I mean I guess I I guess it might have been like a pear. <laughs> a pair of what? A pair of apples. It was a pair of apples. No, I'm talking about the the, the fruit pear. Like, are you <sighs> disregard the self banter here. I'm going slightly insane. Just trying to figure out, like, honestly, the best way to, to conjure up 900 rupees. You know what I'm saying? What do we have now? 456. We, we need 500 more rupees. We can play the claw machine game. But I feel like that's the only thing that I've got in my head. <laughs> to, <laughs> to at least attempt. Yeah, we got another teleport uh, mechanism here. Let's go. It's very convenient. Especially because this one's right next to a, a key here. Okay, let's go here. Oh, ooh, jukes. Ain't got nothing on me, dude. Yo, we got the piece of power. Pizza power. It's like a, it's like rocket power. I'm trying to conjure up the the theme song for rocket power. Rocket power. It's like a, it's like an early two thousands like. It's pretty rock heavy. I'm pretty sure. It wasn't heavy rock. No. <laughs> I don't think that's the the vibe that they were going for. Okay, I'm gonna push this off. What's the best pathway here? Let's push this through. No, 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 no. All right, respawn that. Um. What is this? Oh. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, let's try to get this piece of heart here. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, man. They're doing the Isaac thing. Okay, hold on. Right here. And through here. There we go. There we go. We've got the thing, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the piece of heart. Uh, open the sub screen to see. Cool. Wait, how many do we have now? We've got three out of four. Let's go. We're almost going to have one extra heart to work with. It feels like we've got a ton already, but you know. <laughs> you know how these go those go. They, they go fast when you're not paying attention. Yo, it's right over there. All right, let's open this up. Oh, 
Whenever we rev up for a run like that, it reminds me of like my cat's purring. <laughs> Especially Genji. That jumping sound. Jumping on top of the fridge. Him trying to say that he's in charge of the whole place. Yeah. Okay, dude. Let me know let me know how you uh how you plan on paying a, paying the bills for the you know, paying for the mortgage. Please. Give me a five step plan by the end of the night. That's not very nice to your cat, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm being real with you. Like, he's, he's got to have, he's got to have uh, quite the argument if he's going to be, you know, running this place. <laughs> you might say his argument is the huge scratch on my leg, but that's actually the other cat. The other cat the uh the friendlier one molly uh, i mean I, I say friendlier just because she's more like a dog i think it's the best way to put it what is this i didn't expect an owl the windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above when you play the eight instruments of the sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Eight instruments to leave the island. I mean, at that point, we're probably pretty invested in the in the, in the environment of the of the island and the community that uh, that envelops the uh, the whole place. It's just um. I mean, at that point, are you gonna want to leave? I think it's this is a tourist trap, dude. I don't. I think I'm using that that verbiage incorrectly, though. Tourist traps are like souvenir shops that you you know spend twenty bucks on a little uh, t-shirt that'll <laughs> a novelty t-shirt that says the the location of the area that you're, you're tur touriseming in. Is that the is that the right word? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Being a tourist in? Taking a tour of? Okay, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Yup. Get out of here with that. Yo, what's with the sand zombies? Boom, boom, ba da ba ba da dum. Not sure what we're supposed to do with that. Maybe use some powder? Nah. See that cup? Just a look at it. Alright. I think I saw a staircase. Yep. Let's go into here. See what this place has for us. Okay, okay. I've seen worse. <laughs> right there. You've seen worse right there. Hold on. How do you do this? Hold on. Let's go up and go back down. Yo, it's the graveyard. What? Do we need a bomb? I think we need a bomb. Interesting. Where do we get bombs, though? I think this is the game that we didn't even need a bomb bag, right? It's confusing, because right around this time, you know, is when I, I'm i working through the Skyward Sword uh, sequence where I, I, I probably get a bomb bag from what I can infer. So, I'm <laughs> kind of juggling the two in my head. I mean, look at all of the progress that we've made, though. Just today. You know, I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with this. Um, 
Okay, so we're gonna check with Mr. Phone Guy what he thinks our best um, pathway is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Some people look down upon using Olrira. You know, it, it, I, I feel like a lot more games should have him. <laughs> Maybe that's old man energy, you know? I'm. It's not that I'm not a fan of, like, adventure games anymore. It's just I'm not a fan of being lost. <laughs> and I, I definitely enjoyed that more when I was a kid. Bring, bring, hi, this is Ulrira. In the Yarna Desert, which is located in the southeast of the island, you will find something called the Angler Key. Right. That's what he's been saying for, like... Last three episodes. Hmm. But when we got there, we got to a boss fight that we couldn't kill unless we had. Um, we ha we didn't try bombs, did we? I guess we could try bombs. Hmm. Or we can master the claw machine. <laughs> that is the other option, ladies. And a gentleman. <clears throat> we did that wrong. <laughs> You're supposed to push this one right. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Room with jellies. I like calling them jellies instead of slimes. Slimes definitely is like the most aggressive version of the of the term. Cause it, it, it assumes that they're an enemy. When you say jelly, you think like, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a, a warm feeling inside when you say jelly. Unless you're talking about like jealousy. And there's definitely no warm feelings there. Bow. I don't know, I'm just babbling. Just figuring out what to do, where to go. Ba the, the Dante take was incorrect. He's actually the dungeon guy. I didn't realize he was the, uh, he was a creative dungeon guy all along. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Yo! That fox is mad at us. What does the fox even say? Okay, let's get this rupee. Yeah. Trendy game, play, yep, 10 rupees for what? So this is a payout of 10 rupees? If I get it. Alright, move forward. Stop. Move right. Stop. Come on, I've got it. Wait, what's that thing on the top left? Yo, is that a bomb bag? E-bomb bag! I'm sorry, I, I, I had to. Did you really have to? Nah, I, I guess I didn't. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. No, 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 no. <sighs> well, now it's right in front of the machine. Let's do it. If this misses. Okay. All right. What is this thing? I'm intrigued. It might it might be like a rupee bag. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yo, 20 rupees. Okay. We'll take it. Magic powder. Um <sighs> Maybe we shouldn't have used two uses on that. Yo, the rupees are unlimited though. Yo. It's uh it's gonna take a, a heck of a long time to do this though. <laughs> Ten rupees at a time. I want to go for that thing on the right, too. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to make any money off of this. 
Yo, spotlight's right on you. Gimme. Let's go. Let's go. If you roll out of that thing, that's way too realistic, Nintendo. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to play again. No, 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 no. Alright, well. If we're in here anyways, let's grab the shell. Yo, too good at this. I probably said that too soon. <laughs> it could have very well rolled out. Look at that. It almost did it. Wow. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. They need a confirmation button. You can tell it's a scam when it doesn't have a confirmation button. What? It doesn't even... Okay. Alright. I'm, I'm pressing B. There we go. Okay. We got the rupees. Yes, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. Just pick it up. Okay, we got a secret seashell. Put it to your ear and hear the whispered secrets. What? Um, you got a chow chow figure. There must be somewhere you can display it. Oh, it's a figure. We can put it on one of those pedestals. Do 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 do. But a do do do, but a boom boom do, shabba do ba boom, shabba ba boom, boom boom ba ba. Hey, we can put the cha cha here. It says bow wow. <sighs> well, we can't put the chow chow there. There we go. Place the chow chow here. There we go. Alright, she doesn't care. There's probably some sort of like, you know. Oh, what about the book that's in here? Can't we uh get it now? Here, right, let's, let's do it. Boom. The hidden power of color. You want to read this book? There's a new world of color under, under the five gravestones. The three up. Four right. We need to screenshot this. Five up, two left, one down. Try with all your might and you may open a new path. Are you worthy to receive the power of color? What's this world of color about? Maybe you should try it and see. Well. Color me intrigued. Alright, so he said gravestones. There is an area we can go for that. Let's go check it out. Okay. Alright, dump a shack. Okay, colorful gravestones. Shibba da boop boom. Is this where the uh, cemetery is over here? Okay. All right, colorful gravestones. Where you at? These aren't colorful. It says cemetery, prairie. Yeah, I'm not sure if these have numberings. Is it this one here? Oh, it is. Hold on. Okay. Let's tr let's try that again. Where's the where's that screenshot? <laughs> Gotta refer to it. Three up, four right, five up. What do the numbers mean? Three up, four up. Three up. Oh, this is the eShop. <laughs> Out of habit, I guess. 
a three up, four right. I don't know what the numbers mean. Also, these aren't colored. Mm -hmm. This might be something we have to wait until the next episode to look into. But thank you so much for stopping by and uh, checking out the video. If you liked it, hit that like button. Otherwise, I'll um, see you on the next one. Hit that sub button. Hit that bell. All right, cool. See you.